Today we are going to be testing the difference CPU core count has in gaming and streaming performance. More specifically, first we will test the pure gaming performance, and then the performance during streaming and gaming on the same PC, using 6 cores, 8 cores, and 10 cores. We will simulate all the scenarios by deactivating the cores and setting the clock at a fixed frequency, so it should simulate the performance based only on the core count. For each scenario, we will use a benchmark with low, medium, and high CPU utilization. The resolution we will use will be 1080p and 2160p, so any resolution in between will also be in between our results. For streaming, we will use custom OBS streaming settings for Twitch in 1080p, which are optimized for performance and quality at the same time. Because we will be using synthetic benchmarks, it will represent the worst and best case scenario you could possibly have, so it will give you a better overview of what can happen. Before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel because we spent hours and hours in order to do this video for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. We start with pure 1080p gaming performance where in this graph we see the CPU and GPU utilization as well as the FPS performance for each scenario. What we immediately notice is that as long as the GPU usage is high and CPU usage low, the core count doesn't affect the FPS performance much. But as soon as it becomes mostly CPU intensive, we see a hit in FPS and we start losing performance. This is much clearer to see in 2160p where the CPU usage is much lower because we are more GPU limited, having basically a GPU bottleneck. In other words, because we are getting much lower FPS than we got in 1080p, the CPU does not need to work that hard. So more cores won't necessarily improve your gaming performance. Now what happens if we stream at the same time using our CPU? In this graph, we see that the CPU is now more stressed because of the streaming, having a much bigger performance hit on lower core count. We can see that also in real time, how the CPU and GPU behave with and without streaming. In 4K resolution, we see a bit smaller difference, but again, we have a performance drop when more cores are needed. Of course, here we have the extreme scenario of using almost all CPU resources, but you get the point. In other words, in 1080p, we clearly see that 6 cores may not be enough for gaming and streaming using the CPU, if the game is CPU intensive and you need high frame rates. You may be still fine if you game at 60 frames in 4K with a more GPU intensive game. Now to make a conclusion, depending on your GPU and gaming preferences, you should consider the core count you need before buying a CPU. Because if you have a powerful GPU, you could use the GPU itself for streaming and gaming. In this case, even a 6-core CPU will do the job. But if you have a low-end GPU and plan on streaming with the CPU instead, you need at least 8 cores for CPU-intensive games. That was it guys, hope you liked it. As I already mentioned, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. See you on the next one.